Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a store that I have never shopped at before. And it is Little. And it's here in, I believe this is Levittown, New York. And I want to thank my subscribers. Um, a beautiful husband and wife couple from New Jersey. Thank you so much for this gift card. Um, okay, I hear Ed Sheeran music in the background, so this is most probably going to be, um, get a copyright hit on it, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload it. Let me turn you around and we'll do a little bit of shopping. Okay, so these tomatoes are $2.99. And they look pretty good. I love to be able to have these on hand to throw in my omelets and I even make a BLT out of them sometimes. Okay, so we'll get these. I do need some fresh bread. New wheat bread, 89 hot dog buns. This is Italian bread, dollar. 69 for butter bread. Okay. I don't like wheat bread, but I will get whatever is the cheapest. Bacon. Two for nine dollars. I still have the Oscar Mayer bacon that came in the um, Instacart delivery. The sausage has almost doubled in price. We'll show it for them. Scrabble. No, don't want that. <laughs> so they doubled in price and shrunk the package too. The hill shrimp form, 14 ounces. What I really need is just uh, coffee and cream, but since I'm here, I will go ahead and get a few more things. Huh. It must be on the other side. Here's a Dutch oven. <laughs> Real similar to the one that I put the pork on in. $24.99, that's a good price. Oh God, $16? A pack of pork chops? Gosh. Oh, I haven't bought meat in so long. Three pounds of pork chops, fifteen dollars. Yep, won't be getting that today. Oh, they're not like all of them. They're different. They have some name brands in here. Okay, where is the coffee? Crackers, cookies, no, no. candy, slices, baked oils, organic, tea, coffee, cereal. Like I said, I mainly came in here to get coffee and cream, though. That's what I'm out of right now. Okay, let's try this. Not bothering. Ooh, look at that big <laughs> bottle of honey. I haven't needed honey this, this year because I haven't had a cold. Uh, bronchitis, that's usually what I use it for. Okay. Jill does buy the 
little coffee and it's good. Whole bean coffee. Oh, thank you. I don't have any way to grind it. Okay, so Folgers for large cam is seven fifty six. The little is just the same size. Thirty ounces. Yes, same size. Six forty eight. Okay, so I'll get the little brand. Classic rose, medium rose. This is what I want. <laughs> Why don't they have the creamer next to the coffee? When I shopped at the Aldi, when I lived in Asbury Park, I used to like to look at this stuff that they had for sale. Oh. Organic rice syrup. I don't know what that is. Y'all, there's a Korean grocery store here. I'm going to take y'all into it one day. Y'all, these are good for storing like your, um, not only shoes, but I keep it in my closet and I put my wraps in it. I'll you know, just roll them up and put those in there, my scarves. That's a good price for that, too. What on God's green earth is this? What? A spiral orange holder? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. Who needs an orange holder? My Lord, I wouldn't want to leave the orange out anyway. I'd want them in the refrigerator. You can't put that thing in the refrigerator. Ridiculous. What is this now? Oh, automatic soap dispenser. Oh, a little baby trash can. That would get on my nerves, having to empty it every day. What is this thing? A bamboo bathtub. What? <laughs> okay, now who's going to take all of this into the tub with them? Their phone, their tablet, and a glass of wine? Come on now. Oh, Lordy, what else are they going to come up with all this con consumerism stuff. Ugh. I just can't imagine. Who needs all of this stuff? It's irritating. A man's overshirt. Rubber boots. What is this now? Oh, a garden needler. Oh, come on. Very interesting little garden clogs. Those are cute. I don't need those either. What is this? Cat litter. Okay, what did I come over here for? Oh, creamer. I want powdered creamer, but I just asked for it and they don't have it. <laughs> okay, so I was very pleased with what I got. I bought um, three bananas. They were 62 cents. I bought a, uh, no, it was a big, a quart of half and half. A dollar ninety-eight. And those tomatoes, ooh. Six forty nine. I think I must have read it wrong on the sign. The honey wheat bread was ninety eight. I bought a garlic. There were three in the package. 
$1.49. The coffee was $6.48. And then I got the kielbasa for $3.98. It came to $22.02. And I have money left on the card. <laughs> so thank you to my subscribers for this um, gift card. Thank you so much. I appreciate your generosity. It, it helps me out so much. So, actually, when I went to leave the store, I saw this sign up over the door. It said that I am in East Meadow, New York. So, um, I'm going to head back home, and I'll open up this can of coffee and get my coffee pot fixed for in the morning. So, y'all let me know what you think about that orange holder. Is it something that you would buy to keep your oranges in? You know, if if you have all of these gadgets and things to store everything in, you know, the egg container and, you know, I just put my eggs in a little basket, but there are people that have these plastic egg containers with all the little slots in it for the eggs and, you know, you, by the time you put everything away and get it organized, it, it's just so, so time consuming, but is it worth it? I don't know if I would want that orange thing. That, that was really, that struck me as very unusual and unique so i'm gonna head home now thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um i think i have been behind this store before searching for a dumpster to dive in and uh, they only have an incinerator but i'm gonna sneak back there again and if there's a dumpster with any food in it i will be getting it <laughs> and i will film it so thank you for being here and don't forget to subscribe and you just keep on coming back